Well, I'm with Professor Angela Little and also my Southern correspondent. Hello, how are you, how are you Pam? I'm very well, thank you, Paul. I'm delighted to welcome you to Port St Mary. It's lovely to be back. We've got a book launch today. Now, yes, a time of recording. I have to say, this was a bit close. It was to the book arriving, wasn't it? It was indeed, but it's here. That's the main thing. And you will just see that. I I picked up my copy of the book two minutes ago. How exciting must it be to see it? Oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful. What a transformation from the early drafts. Now, there's, what, ten people involved in this? Yes, we're a team of ten, uh, coordinated by Stefan Overgaard, who's uh, on the board of the Russian Heritage Trust. And um, we've been working together now for some years. And finally, we produced the book. All you are taking a local to the area, so you, you, this is how you get all the information. And when he says living with the sea, explain a bit more about that. Okay, so it's not living by the sea, mm. it's living with the sea. And so it's a story of how the people of Port St Mary formed a kind of partnership with the sea, uh, how their livelihoods depended on the sea, um, and how much of the culture of the port was based around the sea. There's some great pictures in here. I think we've got to show a couple, Pam, of you. Bony M or something? Is oh, there's people. Well, I, I, <laughs> I do remember a, that vaguely. I have a, thank you, Paul. <laughs> yes, I have, I, I have a very small part in this book, but the book finishes in 1979, which was a really oh, mem- memorable mm. year for Port St Mary. Everyone that was in Port St Mary in 1979 remembers it. So mine's a very minor part of the book. There's a lovely but picture of you dressed up, though. Oh, yes. but Well, there's pictures of me dressed up. <laughs> All the time. Oh, yes, exactly. <laughs> anyway, but the, but the main thing is mm-hmm. that the contributors to this book, Cathy Klukas, Stefan Overgaard, now Angela, of course... Now, uh, Mickey Neal. Mick Neal. Oh, here we go, uh, mentioning them all. Good uh, luck. Yeah, well, I'm trying. You'll forget one in a second. Andrew, Andrew Foxen. Andrew yeah. Foxen. Doreen Mool. Oh, Doreen doing, it, doing the internment. It's like yes. a quiz game now, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Any more? Uh, no, it's... Yes, John Qualtro. Yes. Oh, and Hugh Davidson. <laughs> oh, and Hugh. That's what happens when you start naming people. I know, people. I know. I always... Someone's going to get upset if you don't mention them. I always Well, say... and there is someone we must mention. Yeah. John Quirk, oh, yes. who joined us at a late stage in the game, uh, but he pulled us pulled all our bits and pieces together yes. in the final stages. You needed pulling together. We yeah, did. We did. We yes. needed pulling together. You can imagine. Well, listen, have a lovely launch tonight, um, but the thing is, where can people get hold of this? It, it'll be in all the bookshops. It, it'll be in the bookshops from today. Mm-hmm. It's also in the local Port St Mary shops. Great. So, you know, we, we've tried to get it out to as many people as possible, and everyone knows they only have to ask the bookshops, the local mm. bookshops, and they'll be able to supply them. Well, that's fantastic. And it can be ordered online. Oh, see. Monster if you can't awesome. get to the bookshop, um, from the Russian Heritage Trust website and from Lily Publications website. And is there a book two in the offing, or have you done your bit now? Oh, well, Angela, <laughs> Angela, Angela's piece is marvellous. It's oh. all about the education of children in Port St Mary. It's fascinating. I think you, you, it, hmm. it, the people of Port St Mary and the wider audience will find it a fascinating story of how a village lived in, in, in those days. Well, you can only say that you don't do a lot down here because you're always having exhibitions, you're remembering yes. things, which is quite important, isn't it, to remember where we've been? The Russian Heritage Trust is trying very hard to preserve the heritage of Russian. And as you know, we have a project now to preserve the old bus shelter and to redevelop that into a heritage a permanent Heritage Centre. Well, good luck with that and we'll come back and do more. Thank you very much, Paul.